All right, Knights of Apollo, welcome back to our Athenian playthrough where we're trying somewhat to be historical, not really, with Athens. Uh, essentially, we're trying to preserve the, um, the Greek city-states and just maintain uh, unity with the Greek city-states and just kind of seeing what we, we, what we do with that. Uh, so we've had some good things unfold recently. Um, we've uh, conquered the north. Very, very closely were defeated. We were near defeat, uh, but we were able to hold on. Um, at this point, we're at a time of peace, other than being at war with... Uh, let's see. We are at war with Rome. But doesn't seem like it's going to be too much of a problem because Rome is at war with uh, the Carthaginians, I do believe. So they're going to be busy with them. Right now, we uh, have three allies. Uh, two of them are just your typical allies. And one's a defensive ally. So essentially, the defensive ally will only help us in a defensive war. I suppose, like if we get attacked, uh, which I think is good enough for me uh, personally. Uh, so Sparta's on her side, guys. Sparta's on her side. And now that we're not at war, now that we're not um, building huge armies and, and trying to fight a ton of enemies, we can focus on um, just saving up our money and uh, spending it, you know, spending it on, on you know, uh, diplomacy and trying to get more factions to form defensive alliances we're going to kind of focus over here uh with cretes and Rhodes. now we do have a situation with egypt which is kind of frustrating uh they are at war with pergamon egypt doesn't really care for us too much it's a, it's a really complicated situation because most of the greek city states like egypt except for pergamon and you can see Pergamon starting to hate. <laughs> They're starting to hate Sparta. They're so-so about Crete. Uh, they still like me the most. Actually, I think they like Rhodes the most. But they like me. They're they're pretty good with these guys here. So, And they love Pontus. They love Pontus. So, yeah. Wait. Wait. Pergamon? Oh, they're allies. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, for a second, I thought they were... Uh, <laughs> they were... Um, Client states of the Seleucid Empire be like, whoa, hold on here. Okay, so they're allies with the Seleucids, probably because the Seleucids are at war with Egypt, if I'm not mistaken. The fact that Egypt's over here, because Lydia has been destroyed, uh, I think. So we're, uh, I guess we, we can't see the Seleucids yet because we haven't discovered them, quote unquote. So uh, I'm going to try to help Pergamon. If we can form. And some kind of like say join confederation oh moderate now if they join our confederation i wonder what that would do so if we're a confederation ask the other faction to join your confederation if you are strong enough they will accept your offer their faction will be assimilated by your own their settlement will become yours as as uh, may some of their armies or fleets Okay, I think this is our only way of save, saving Pergamon. I know I didn't, I didn't want to eradicate their individuality. You know what I mean? I didn't want to destroy their personal, you know, image and culture. But I feel like this is our only way of saving them. Now, this does make us very strong uh, because we're gonna have pretty much control of here, here, and here. We're gonna control this, this inner, um, uh, you know, ocean here or sea or whatever. Uh, which is part of the Mediterranean. So, I think we should go for it. I think that is our only hope. I think Pergamon's on their last leg. And our only way of saving them is by them absorbing into our, our empire before Egypt takes them out. I think that's our best bet. So, okay, they rejected it. So, they might want some money. That is true. No. Okay. Oh, they better. Okay. We're going to wait a turn because we need more money to bribe them. Or not bribe them, but convince them. So let's end this turn. And let's pray that Pergamon can hold. I, they should be able to hold for another turn. Uh, Rome is making me uncomfortable with their armies over there. So we'll see how that's going to play out. But Carthage is bringing some relief as they see their fleets moving up. All right, another turn over. Agent recovered. That's good. 
Uh, protection expiring. Uh, protection from civil war. Three more turns. Subject gains notoriety. No, no, notoriety. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> words so hard. Let's see what we got here. We got an option faction kind of situation here. Uh, there are rumors about the uh, about in the shadows of forgotten places. Political rivals are meeting. Kill them anyways. Meet with them. Uh, let's meet with them. Uh, I noticed that. I don't think our faction heir is married. So we can try to get him a wife. I don't even know how to do that. This character is not married. Your character may receive marriage proposal from other parties. Or you can arrange marriage for your characters from other parties to engage in faction policies. Where would I even go about doing that? Is there... Where do I... See, I... I don't do higher politicians. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, interesting, interesting. Mm. Does anybody have a woman? I do have a child, so that's good, but I don't, I don't think a woman can lead. So there's only two parties. No, there's three, but I don't, oh, okay. These are the other two and then it's my party. Okay, I'm just trying to... I, I guess I'll figure this out later. How old is my... He's 45. He, I mean, we better get him married soon, right? Like, if we're gonna do this... I, I just don't... I guess there's nobody here to do it. Um, we should also do this. The chance of evading enemy agents. Plus 8 campaign map, mo map movement. Plus 8% faction mercenary replenishment. That's pretty good. This guy looks like he's wearing sunglasses. The, oh, he's got an eye patch. <laughs> the one-eyed veteran. That's actually pretty good. We'll get that. And then what else can we do? 3% armor for all units. Uh, melee attack skill for all spear. Let's go with armor. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what we can do about this. I don't really see. Um, m maybe we can... Can we arrange marriage with Pergamon? I wonder if that would kind of unite the... The nations. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's see. The sake of is there... Has been and is there a marriage? Greetings. Mi military alliance. Let us I don't see anything about marriage, so... You guys might have to help me there. That's something I don't really do in Total War. <laughs> Join Confederation, and we will give you money. So we should... We're gonna start with... 2,000. There we go. They accepted. Awesome. Boom! They accepted, baby! Nice. So technically, Pergamon is no longer on the table, but we now control this. Uh, we also have an Egyptian army over here. Okay, interesting. Uh, here is <laughs> this is what's left of their army. So we need. We're just gonna get you back home, buddy. The war is over, correct? I should not be at war with Egypt. I am not. So they accepted. Um. We can't expand. The city is upset. Uh, but I think once these armies are out of here, they're going to be doing a little bit better. Uh, this is... Oh, Egypt. I was like, is this my fleet? Uh, let's go around and see if we can get Rhodes with us. Because they were good allies with Pergamon. I give you so welcome. let's do... Let Zeus and all okay. the gods just wondering. Smile just upon wondering. So um, let's do military alliance. No. Let's do defensive alliance, which is, where is that? Defensive alliance. Uh, oh, here it is. It's low, but how about now? Okay, still low. All right, so we, we might have to wait a little bit with roads. Maybe they don't like us because of that recent agreement. I don't know. Let's go to, hmm, we could try Macedon. I am they love us. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's go, um, oh, are we already defensive allies? What's, where, why can't I see it? Cancel trade, military alliance. Oh, it's over here. Why is it? Okay. And it's low. So I don't think this is going to happen either, but we might as well just try to see. Moderate. Okay. They rejected it, but they do have a price. All right. Let's go to Crete now. So what, they're right here. Or Kenosis. Athena give you wisdom. And defensive alliance. Speak well. Yes. Welcome. Here's my cause. Keep Greece great. Okay, still, we're getting close, we're getting close, but not quite there yet. Um, my spy is back, so I'm gonna send them back to Rome. 
You have unfinished business there, spy. Get going. And we're good to go, guys. We're good to go. So, I like this. And we're making more money now that we have the new city. So, we have three cities currently. Three cities. That is fantastic. All right. Unfortunately, our trade agreement with RDI has dissolved. I've got a bad feeling about this. See, you confront the conspirators directly, uh, taking them by surprise. They still mither and whisper behind your back, but the meetings have ceased for a long time. Nice. Nice. Uh, okay, so the Egyptians army, the Egyptian armies have left. The good news is that the city's now happy for it. Um, we really need, no, 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 don't, don't raid. Don't be raiding Egyptians, man. You got to get out of the stance if you can. Uh, they're not going to like that. Okay, well, that's, that's okay. So the Egyptians left and because they left, the city's happy again. So yay. Things are looking up for us. This actually worked out really nicely. Uh, we have 8,000 gold now. 8,000. So we might as well uh, continue our diplomacy. So, and yeah, sure enough, RDI freaking hates us. Whoa. What? Did rebels take over RDI? I I'm so confused. I don't know. They hate everyone. Not only the Greeks, but also the barbarians in the north. Woo, wow, wow, wee wow. Okay, so Olympian. let's get you on a defensive alliance. I want a defensive alliance, buddy. And we will give you 4,000. Defensive alliance. And then we will give you 5,000. There we go. Boom. Boom. You are welcome, dude. We're stronger together, even though you made me pay 5,000. Macedon, Macedon, buddy, buddy, pal. Let's keep Greece great. I will give you everything in my treasury. Okay, then we're gonna have to wait for more money. No, no, look how much money we're making. Oh my God. I think pretty soon we can build a fleet again. This is great. This is fantastic. This army's still growing, which is good. I wanna keep them growing. Um. I think we don't need this anymore, honestly. So I'm gonna cancel construction. I can actually upgrade this. This will help growth. Farming settlement. This will still improve. Let's see, and then market settlement. Or a civil settlement. Well, these aren't civil people up here. Hmm. Squalor. I mean, they're all pretty good. I guess we'll keep it a farming settlement. I'm gonna change that. There's too much farming up there. Okay, so that's good. And we are really close to getting set prices, which is gonna improve our wealth for commerce. Well, I think we're getting public auction, right? With public option, we can, yeah. We wanna, the reason we wanna push for public auction is because over here we want to upgrade this because this is going to give us 15 food but it will cause minus 10 unrest oof all right let's save the rest of my cash here and let's end the turn we really need to get uh macedon over on our side what is macedon doing oh oh i like that epirus has taken the territory north of apollonia that is a huge help. Carthage is chasing down the Romans. Honestly, guys, this has been such a successful playthrough with highs and lows, but right now we are on an extreme high. Uh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. I cannot believe it. Seriously, like, Epirus, even if he starts losing, I'm only going to help him out if his main city's under attack. Um, if he starts losing cities he's conquered, that's his problem. But holy crap, we are getting strong. The Greeks, man. We're not falling today. Okay, research complete, set prices. Oh, Carthage lost? The Carthaginians have lost their foothold on the island. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> Carthage is losing the war. That's not good. What's um, Syracuse's stance here? They hate Carthage. They like Rome. Mm, they don't really like me. 
That's fine. Well, this is good because we're building... If Rome attacks us, we're going to have a whole bunch of angry Greeks because we have a lot of allies. All right, well, let's keep pushing to get... Um, maybe we should get some military. Our food is doing decently well. Jeez, it's only six, but it is winter. Yeah, maybe we focus in the Navy a little bit. We can rebuild our Navy once we uh, bribe all these city-states to be a defensive ally. <laughs> uh, so what do we... Macedon, right? Macedon is our... Our next, because they're pretty powerful. All right, we're going to start with 4,000. Okay, no, 5,000. Boom. 5,000 seems to be the sweet spot. That seems to be the sweet spot. Okay, so Macedon, they're now a defensive ally. We want... Egypt hates us. Holy crap, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. You know why? Probably because we're in his land right now, looting... So, can you not do that? What's going on? You know what? I'm just going to disband you. Yeah, I'm just going to disband you because I couldn't get them out of that stance. I, I feel like that's why Egypt hates us, you know? Um, so, we're going to raise forces. we got some interesting characters here. We're going to go with a free guy, right? We'll go with you. And you will be... Ooh. Elite hoplite. I like that. I'm going to go here. And you're just going to have a light. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at these units. Now we're talking. Uh, but, yeah, you're just going to have a light uh, garrison force. We'll give you four of these levy hoplites. We're not lo really looking for expanding over there. But we do want to have a force present just in case the Galatians or Egypt starts to get a little feisty. Uh, but that looks like it's going to be all of our money. Um, we can see if we can upgrade anything. We just don't have the technology yet. Oh, yeah, we should probably build here. Let's see. Growth. It hurts our food a little bit. Public order. One growth. I like this. Second class citizen. But we don't have enough money. Dang it. Okay, you know what? Let's, to save some money so we can build and that doesn't become a slums. We're going to get rid of two here. All right, and we will, mm, should, we should probably, yeah, let's, yeah, let's get this. This is going to help sanitation. It's going to improve the culture. Definitely need to spread more culture up there as it's not very Greek. Okay, so that's set. And looking at our allies now, look how strong we are. We have one, two, three defensive allies, two normal allies. One of those guys at war conquering land. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he took this land up here. That's fantastic. Well done. When one Greek city-state is doing well, we're all doing well. Okay. Rhodes is next on our list. Defensive Alliance. I will try to get him to join us, but we don't have that much. Yeah, we got to wait. We got to wait. Okay. Well, let's end the turn. I know this hasn't been the most eventful um, episode. Because of, well, you know, us trying to spend money and bribe. It's a lot of diplomacy, not a lot of battles. Uh, but this is a much needed episode. This is a much needed um, time in the campaign to just not fight anyone and just focus on stabilizing the Greek city-states, preserving the Greek city-states. And... Who knows, potentially we might go to war with Egypt. Um, I don't want that to happen, but it might be a possibility. And looking at these armies, I've noticed that there's not a ton of uh, fleets. So I think it's going to be up to us to get a fleet. So we might have to get that going as well, just to secure the Mediterranean. And it will also prevent any uh, beach landing invasions because our fleet is going to be present it just i don't think we're making enough money yet um but we'll see uh we're definitely got to try to we should also not only not only should we try to get more defensive allies we should also try to get some more trade agreements with some uh new discovered factions uh the defensive alliances eventually what i want to do is turn them into normal alliances so if we go to war with someone they will join us it is a where where are they where is this faction I don't even know where they are. So you are going to war with who? Whom? Should I ask? They want me in, huh? Well, they are my ally. 
I'm not going to send any troops to this war. But in just out of respect for the ally, I will officially declare war on them as well. I didn't really look to see how the other Greeks feel about it. And this is our turn. Returned home. Nice. Protection expired. Okay, we we should be good. I don't I can't imagine us being at war. Hey, be careful leaving Apollonia undefended. You know the Romans are still at war with us. Which I would love to change. Okay, so let's go to Rhodes now. They're the next big faction I want with us. Bless us Defensive both. Alliance. That we may speak and we will pay well. you. And Remember, 5,000 seems to be the... Oh, really? Give them all my money. Okay, wow. Rhodes, buddy, pal, what the heck? You push a tough bargain. You do. Okay. Um. All right. Well, it's uh, honestly, I think Rhodes is the only one, right? In terms of Greek factions, pretty much. Now we could try to trade, but we gotta we gotta choose wisely. Seleucids. Nah, they're not gonna accept the trade agreement. But our relations have proved a, improved a little bit. Where is this faction? Oh, they're all the way up here. And they're allies with them. Mm. Rome. Buddy, we've been at war for many years speech now. Speech. Okay. Alright, calm down. Why? Why are we at war? Why do you care? I hate you. I mean, I know we fought our battles. I know you lost to Polynia, But, like, just give it up. <sighs> Alright. Um, I'm gonna try to sweet talk Rhodes. Like, I, I'm just gonna... No strings attached. I'm gonna give them money. I'll Fine give them olives, two thousand. There you go. That's from the Great Empire of Egypt, the Great City State City State of Egypt. Oh, nice. I like how my spies going around discovering new lands. That is what I was afraid of. That right there is what I was afraid of. Epirus, please, please defend your city. All right, we got to get a fleet. We, we've we got to build a fleet here. Ah, dude. Rome, man. He's ruining everything. Ooh. All right. I mean, there's a lot. Okay, this is, this is, okay, as quick. Remember how we were on a high? Well, we're about to enter into a low uh, because we are having multiple wars declared that I just think are unnecessary at this time because there's a great Roman republic or empire whatever uh that is well on the verge of uh attacking us so i i mean unless these barbarians of the north are gonna push down I, okay but i'll do it but i want more than a defensive alliance soon okay i want a straight up alliance mission issue research the technology siege uh we'll do that right now actually Let's see where's siege Siege Tower. Wait, what is the mission? Um, it's one of these. I assume it's this Siege Tower. That's the only thing I can think of. All right, we'll we'll go with this and try to get that technology, you know, and that mission complete. Um, okay, where did Rome go? The good thing is there's an army back over here, so we're good. We're good, but we need to we do need to build a navy. We we must. We must. Who's this? Oh, okay. This is the this is them. What are you doing, Macedon? What are you doing with your army? I know we're close, but Sparta, what are you doing your like they just like to walk around with their armies. Like they're just going for a stroll. I mean I don't mind if they're just patrolling and everything, but whatever. Okay, so yeah, let's let's build ourselves a fleet. And we're gonna go with this. And in terms of troops, we haven't really improved that much in terms of uh, ship technology. So we're going to get four of these guys. And how much are... Oof, these guys are so... Ex Dude, fleets are so expensive. Let's just get the amount that we can recruit for the turn. Save the rest of the money. And I will once again go to Rhodes. I, bro, I just want us defensive allies. Why would you not agree to that? 
Why? Why? 9,000 gold and you will not take it. All right, so why do they hate us? They're, they're unfriendly. Past treaties with Pergamon, broken treaties with Egypt. That really screwed things up. Yeah, it's mostly because Pergamon joined us. They're very upset about it because I, I assume they wanted this city. I assume. Ooh, we can upgrade this now. This will hurt public order, though, and we're already having public order issues. All right, um, this army, move out, and you're going to, yeah, go to this, I guess, go here. And I thought there was, like, if you patrol, that makes them happier. I'm trying to improve their happiness here. This will help their happiness, right? We might have a rebellion over here. We are dealing with a different culture, so... It is a problem. How are you guys? You guys happy? Oh, you guys are super happy. They're just so happy to be part of the Athenian Empire, you know? Well, that's about all we can do. Um, again, we can look at diplomacy here and just see, you know, what we can do in terms of trade agreements. You know, we're actually in pretty good terms with the Odrysian Kingdom. They have a lot of land here. And they potentially could be a threat. Sparta doesn't really like them. But we went ahead and accepted trade agreement. Yeah, shut up. I don't really care what you have to say. Just accept the agree trade agreement. Uh, we can also... Welcome you. They don't really like us. I gotta be careful. I can't be trading with anyone. I gotta be selective about it. And trade agreement. Bro, come on. All right, but with that new to, new trade agreement, I think it helps out a lot. Remember, we got to support this navy. So we'll go ahead and once again end the turn. And hopefully the city gets happier. Yeah, this is tough. This is tough. I mean, this mod is definitely makes it more challenging. Got my spy over there, so I could probably harass him. Next turn, I'm going to... Yeah, next turn, I'm going to harass Rome. Rome's going back home. Yeah, good for you, Rome. Proud of you. Go back home. Yeah, Carthage, can you please... Carthage is truly the naval... Like, they have naval superiority over the Roman... Uh, they control the Mediterranean. That Essentially, they control the Mediterranean. Uh, which is fine. It's better than Egypt controlling the Mediterranean. Um, but soon, the Athenian time to control the Mediterranean will rise. Um, again, we're just in a very delicate situation because Rome could attack us in any moment they will not accept any kind of uh peace agreement which is ridiculous because then they could put all of their attention towards the carthaginians you know they could focus all of that there um meanwhile we have Rhodes, who is really the last greek city state that i want with us um and they just will not accept a, uh, you know, a defensive alliance, which I just, to the life of me, cannot understand. I mean, they're a small island. They're not that powerful. You know, I could crush them. I could crush them like a bug. Assassination plot. Uh, hire bodyguard. Let's hire bodyguard. Increase in rank. Nice. All right. So now that we left the city over here, oh, they're, they're still getting upset. Here we go. Patrol. Patrol region. That helped a little bit. Oh, man. I'm trying to get them happy, dude. Just be happy. We need to hopefully continue to increase the size of our, our settlements here. Oh, fantastic. Look at you level up. I'm so proud of you. All right, just improving the generals there. All right, how are we doing with money? Still uh, making 5,000. Uh, that's going to change pretty quickly once we get some more naval units. We need more ships. All right, so we'll get two more of those guys. And we should... I guess we'll leave the navy here. So, um, we've got 12,000 gold. Rhodes, I swear to God, man. I will make you an offer you cannot refuse. With... At 12,000 gold and they're still not moderate in terms of agreeing, I just don't think it's going to happen. What is it about Rhodes that just they don't like us? <laughs> Treaties? Really? You don't like Egypt. But dude, I don't like Egypt either. We're in this together, bro. We're in this together. You like Pergamon. 
They like the fact that I trespass against the Egyptians. I guess I'll just so give them speak more money. Goals. You know what? I'll give you oh, not that much. I'll give you 3,600. Yeah, I bet you'll like that. But that improves us a lot. Oops. I canceled it. See if he accepts that. No. All right. We just got to keep trying. I'm going to keep giving him money every turn. It is improving our relationship quite a lot. So we got to, you know, it's hard to get. I like it. I respect it. All right. We, you know, I, I like it. Mm, you know, a little hard to get a little cat and mouse game. You know what I mean? But they better accept soon because I just, they're the last link, man. They're the last link. I mean, I might even go to war against Egypt, you know, because like we could strike hard. We could, you know, boom, hit them here with the Navy and Army, quickly shuffle down, hit them here, Navy, Army, you know, clean them out of this area. And all they have left is North Africa. So it won't be that easy, but <laughs> certainly worth a shot. And while we're up here, let's get our spy going and yeah. Settlement sabota sabotage. <laughs> yeah, you're a bad girl, aren't you? You're a bad girl. Okay. Um. Whatever. I don't. I don't really care. Give me all the info you can get. I'm just trying to get you leveled up. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. I think this is a good stopping point here. I know this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode. It's really because we didn't have any um you know, any battles, but I just want to kind of take it slow here because I want your guys' opinion on how you think the campaign's going, what we should do. Um, I, I think I'm going to just stay the course. I'm going to keep giving money to Rhodes until they accept something. What's going on here? Are they at war? Are they at war with the Egyptians? Oh my goodness. Egypt's at, Egypt's at war with like everyone. I feel like if we go to war with Egypt, Sparta might not like it, but come on, Sparta. Maybe Egypt could be a good option there. Because we could take this settlement and this settlement. We would have this entire coast would be Athenian. That would be huge. That would be so huge. So, And then Rhodes would love it. You know? So I think we should do it. I don't know. We'll think about it though. It's up. You know, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for joining me on this epic uh, episode. We got a lot done uh, we're so solidifying the Greek Empire, which is great. Uh, thank you for the support, guys. It means a lot. And I will see you next time on the battlefield.